face. Hello oh, everyone, my name is Gigi Jerky and I'm bringing you back with another movie studio tutorial today. Uh, this time I will teach you how to animate uh, photos or videos I suppose if you want to, but uh, primarily photos for episodes, so we'll get straight into it. Uh, this is something that it seems pretty, it's another thing, it seems pretty difficult, but um, once you know how to do it, you can use it for all sorts of things um, and becomes kind of an, oops, for my pan cropping. <laughs> It's absolutely terrible, and it kind of becomes a bit of an essential, uh, essential item when editing, and you'll use it a lot. So uh, let's just get straight into it. Uh, we have our background. Obviously, this is just a background; it doesn't need to be this exact background. Um, so we want to make like an intro. So um, we'll make it fly in and move to left room in for room for some text. So um, all you have to do is get the image that you want to animate and uh, then you just need to go pan crop, event pan crop and um, set it how you want it to start so we probably want it really small so like kind of zoom in or fly in however you want um, yep so probably put it in the middle and now here comes, I'll keep the previous screen visible but now we're working down here which is in position just working down here so um, we'll just be, so we want it to fly in pretty fast, we'll move the slider, oh by the way this is how many seconds it's on for, so it's, um, I have it going for about, um, it says about 20 seconds, around right about here, so that's the whole length of the photo or video, so we want it to fly in pretty fast, we'll have it around right about here, and go create keyframe, then we click that, and now while our slider is on the keyframe, we have to um, set the pan crop of how we want it. So we want it to zoom in, be really large. I want to scroll in here, like this. And then we want, might want it to shrink down a bit again because this might be too large. So we'll have it a bit like this. So it's like, obviously you probably wouldn't have like this. This is just for for the tutorial sake. Now we want it to bounce back down to size, probably pretty fast. Well. So again, go create keyframe. And then again, adjust it to the size that you want it. Which is probably a bit too big, so now to make it even a little bit smaller. So we have this, and then if you want it to slide to the side, I'm gonna make it this a bit smaller. Again, just choose how long you want it to take to slide. Let's choose about here. Go create keyframe. And if we want it right over to the side, we're probably doing this. We move it very far, so you might just want to move this out to the side, which be careful, we'll make the image smaller. Move it right over, that'll do, I suppose. Um, actually, move it over just a bit more. Yeah, that looks perfect. So now, if we watch it, you'll see comes in, bounces back down, and moves to the side. And then, of course, leaving room for the text there. Um, that's pretty much all there is to it. I'm just trying to think if anything else to add. Um, of course, the further away the keyframes are from each other, the longer it will take. So if we go from here, oh, my apologies. If we go from here, comes in, bounces back, and then takes quite a while. But don't be deceived because although that is quite a distance, it only is a matter of a couple of seconds because that's five seconds, that's ten seconds, it's just over like seven or eight seconds, so you want to be careful with that and uh, that's pretty much it, that's how you animate and then um, you could also have maybe a sunburst background and um, if you were to set a keyframe and change the rotation then you could maybe have a sunburst spinning in the background but you want to be careful with that as well because uh, the pan crop is set to that picture so when it, when the landscape pan crop is turned portrait it may have some black bars so you might just want to maybe zoom in the event pan crop so that it's a lot smaller a lot um, so it doesn't fit the whole screen and you have it turning a bit like this so if we have a, a sunburst background here um, see it's zoomed in so that when you rotate it doesn't have any black bars compared to if it was out here and it was rotating it will have black bars um, if it was standard size. So you want to have it in here, 
and then maybe have the slider right here at keyframe and have the rotation like this so if you watch it uh, I'll turn down the quality a bit so it runs a bit smoother it's turning nicely you can put text or put photos or videos over there and look really nice anyway that's it for today if you found this tutorial helpful please leave a like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next time see you. One, two, three, four, five, six, two, eight.